so when we went to make this record, um, I, I wanted to make a real conscious decision to make it a darker record than the first album. Um, I think Chance Collide, you know, the songs on Chance Collide are great and they have some dark elements. But this album, I wanted to push both sides of the boundaries. You know, I wanted the, the, the light and shade to be further apart, the peaks and troughs, you know. Um, so I think this, I think we've done that on this record. That there's definitely a darker album, but there's also some real um, beautiful light moments on this record. And um, overall, I don't know if it's a better record. I think it's just a good next next chapter for this band. Mm -hmm. What reflection you make in your mirror? A projection. So we recorded the album at Color Sound Studios in Melbourne. Uh, being Matt's studio. We are here now. Yeah, we're in the studio at the moment. And um, it took about, I'd say it took about a year for us to get through it or close to a year. Yeah. From start to finish. Um, so pretty lengthy process and had to obviously work around the times because it's a working studio so we'd fit in whenever we could to get the album done. And people's lives. People's lives, that's right. Everyone has work. <laughs> In the bag. You get what I'm saying, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, cool. It's cool, eh? jams on a lot of the new tunes which were really good because some of the timings were pretty crazy in these new tracks so it took a little bit to get those all figured out and get those right between the band um really fun man it was actually a learning experience just learning some of these grooves because they were whack they were out there but that was cool i had a ball with that and um yeah just come in and sort of build it piece by piece you know like um it was a different experience like it wasn't like a punk vibe where you come in and do three takes and smash it and go, ah, that'll do. It was like really meticulous and kind of cool to see you come together in that way. I really like playing Box of Anger. I think it's one of the songs that's um, very succinct, so to speak, like just short and to the point. There's like um, some songs that are a lot longer and that's kind of just really punchy and I can bang my head and have a good time muck around. Um, I also like uh, some of the Dying in Sunshine is really good to play, so it has that little I guess it, the bass really features in the chorus of the little runs. It's nothing too complex, but um, yeah, Maddie has a good ear for where stuff has to sit and just doing that little run, it kind of leads the song in the chorus, which is cool. Oh, I think it's a really killer album. It just needs, what it needs to achieve is getting into people's ears because once it gets into people's ears, I think it's a fantastic record and people will eat it up. And there's such diversity in the songs. Like there's something for everyone. There's heavy stuff, there's really heavy stuff. There's some really lush stuff in there too. Um, like the record to come out and tour it really. That's what I'd like. <laughs>
the concept of the artwork came about um, basically once we'd locked down the title for the album, what we thought would be a great title, being Cold Chamber. We thought about that and um, we all went away sort of thing and had our own ideas and we threw them in the middle. And the one that stood out um, was um, like a, a, well, a cryogenic chamber. I mean, we looked at things like... Um, morgues and stuff like that being a cold place but cryogenic chambers seem to work and um, it was funny because we always have these crazy ideas and it, and the the big problem is how do we realize those ideas mm -hmm. so i remember jumping online and even like starting to research cryogenic chambers in melbourne you know yeah it's not something you research every day no that's right and um but i remembered matt had this curved um perspex uh sound well, it's yeah, it's like a big isolation sheet booth of, sort of thing. Sheet of plastic. Yeah, of plastic for recording, but it had never been used. It sat in the corner for years. So I rang him up. I said, "I got this idea. I want that piece of plastic." And he's, he's like, "What?" So yeah, I'm going to stick it in the pool. So I grabbed it and I stuck it in the pool and I asked my daughter to jump in and I jumped in the water and we took a photo and that was the concept for a cryogenic chamber. Then we had to build from that. You have any crazy idea, Mark can make it happen usually like some you know the weirdest most fucked up thing that you can think of mark will be like i could build that with an old bit of perspex like an old piece of like vocal booth and mark welded it up and made this thing and it was like a, something out of jaws you know they dropped the cage down into the water and it was full on it was a full-on operation it was pretty cool it was like having a it was like being on a movie set yeah it was for, pretty, our, for our cool. album cover and then it, it sort of took a life of its own. It sort of, it, it, one thing led to another and it grew and it grew and and it just went everywhere. That, that chamber, we took it from the pool, uh, from day shots, from the original concept, from day shots to night shots, to shooting, uh, to then putting wheels on it and taking it into the, in the middle of a salt flat and um, taking we'll photos out there. About. Yeah, for sure. So this is Jamie. This is our, our, our model for our album art mm -hmm. and and in our video as well. Our first video. She's in the video, yeah. Um, and she, she insisted. That's right. She did insist. But um, from the time it's taken from the album art to the video, she's just about outgrown the outfit that she wore. <laughs> yes, that's in the album right. Art. Oh, yeah. She's growing. So, but no. Um, so what did you think of it all, Jamie? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the best part of it? Um. It was fun when we went out to the salt pans. Yep. Yeah, it was fun. It was just really, really cold. Mm -hmm. Hanging out with really. Uncle Bat was pretty cool too, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she meant that. She was just kidding. But she was a trooper. She was in there, the pool for, what, six hours or something? Yeah. Something crazy? Like to the point where I couldn't even see, like my eyes were so blurry because I couldn't wear goggles. How do you feel about being on an, on an album? Pretty cool. Yeah, you're on the front and the back cover. What if what if you like what if the band sucks? 
You're representing a band that sucks. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. It's good. All right. Mm -hmm. Just checking. <laughs> try it. The trick question. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to say what I now have to say. So take a number and maybe I will see you soon. It's not pleasing to know. Yeah.